Ellis B. Feaster's Radio Air Check and Classic TV Channel. On this program, we have continually told you about countries that are opening up, airlines that are planning to restart routes, and we're now starting to see the evidence. However, the one overriding issue is how do you travel and do so safely? CNN Sanjay Gupta, Dr. Sanjay Gupta, gives us some ideas. Things are gonna feel a lot different the next time you go to the airport. First of all, it'll be less crowded, that's for sure. Certain precautions are in place, like plexiglass at the counters, telling people to keep their distance when they're in line. Let's go see what security's like. Traveling in the age of coronavirus is all about averting risk. For airports, like here at Hartsfield-Jackson in Atlanta, which is the world's busiest, it's about focusing on keeping things clean and distanced. And once again, thank you for the spacing. For travelers, it's about masks and touching as few things as possible. Weather at check-in. Don't forget to put your boarding pass on your phone ahead of time. Less surfaces to touch. Good morning, okay. sir. Morning. We're going through security. Yep. Right. Go ahead and put that in the machine, sir. One thing to keep in mind, try and count how many surfaces you touch throughout the whole process. Uh, I need everything out of your pockets, please. One study found that the biggest germ hotspots for respiratory viruses in the entire airport, these security bins. One thing I do want to show you is how I pack nowadays. I got my hand sanitizer. So this is when I do do a little hand sanitizer. Put that back in. Make sure everything's back in the bag. And I can be on my way. Constantly wash the hands. Also, look, they're cleaning the bins back there. That's a good idea. This train is departing. big concerns is always going to be those sorts of train rides. Right now, things aren't that crowded, but as airports start to pick up, you may want a lot extra time so that you can walk to the concourse instead of ride. Bill Lynch is one of the few people who has kept flying. How do you quantify that for somebody who says, look, I don't know if I should fly or not right now. I'm not, I'm not sure if the risk and the reward uh, balance makes sense. And it might feel a little awkward the first time you get on board an airplane. To see only 60% load factors, all the middle seats blocked, everyone wearing a mask. But after a while, that becomes very, very um, comfortable. Delta's not the only one. Other major carriers are doing similar. Road warrior Brian Kelly, you may know him better as the points guy, doesn't think social distancing in the sky is going to be permanent. Uh, financially, it's just not possible. And I don't believe it's good for consumers to do that because we're going to pay for the cost of all of those empty seats. In a statement, the International Air Transport Association said that while they support the use of masks by passengers and crew, they don't support mandating social distancing measures that would leave middle seats empty. To reduce risk, many airlines like Delta are wiping down more frequently and misting the entire planes with disinfectant. Everyone is going to decide whether or not it makes sense to fly. It's the sort of risk-reward proposition. One thing I'll tell you is that separating yourselves out, obviously important, that's the distance. But think about the duration. Shorter flights are obviously going to be better as well. One thing you'll see here at Delta is that they are boarding from the back of the plane first. Ten people at a time, we hear. Now, when you get to your row, a couple things to keep in mind. Try and touch as few surfaces as possible. And when I sit down, I'm actually going to try and choose a window seat. And the reason being uh, that I'll just have less contact with people who are walking by the aisle. Here's another tip. Um, you open this, which is called the air gasper, and you turn it up as high as you can and feel the air there right in front of you. That's gonna cause some turbulent airflow in front of you and possibly break up any clouds of virus. It's a small tip. It might make a difference, easy to do, could be worth it. My word, now that's what you call news we can all use, especially those of us who are on the road so much. Um, I still prefer an aisle seat. I think that might just be a risk I'm gonna have to take.